Okay, so here's uh, my uh, Philo Farnsworth fuser device, and uh, I'm powering it with my uh, high voltage AC. I believe this is about 5 kilohertz frequency with these uh, transformers, 60 kilovolts transformers, plus and minus, resonate at. And a lot of the fusers operate in DC. I went to go see a guy who built a uh, fuser, or it's almost DC, I guess with 60 hertz, very low frequency. But when you run it at low frequencies, you can get some big arcs that can damage things. So he had to bring it up slowly and condition it. He was using a pole pig 60 hertz transformer for about 100 kV. But I, I like the high frequency stuff. It seems to work pretty well. So let's let's take a little tour up here. So this is, uh, I showed this in another video. This is my high voltage uh, power supply. It's variable frequency. I have a, some tuners here. It's uh, run by Arduino. And uh, if you're interested, you can look through some of my videos. I have lots of videos. So this is the fuser. And what it is, is it was uh, some kind of ball. It says G-R-A-S-E-B-Y, grass B, something or other. Some kind of pressure ball. And uh, 40 PSI max. And what I did, is I took it to a welding shop and I had them, I ordered some conflat flanges and I had them cut a hole in this side and weld it. I think this is about a four inch conflat, or maybe a little bit smaller than a four inch. I have to check on the size of that. This other one over here, I had to weld a conflat on the back, which is about six inches, put some thermocouple gauges to measure the vacuum. I have another one on the hose, but I'm not gonna hook them up right now. I'm just gonna test this guy out. So I put a ceramic brake and hooked up one of the high voltage, threw some pins in the back of it. Let's take a look back there, I don't know if you can see it or not. So hook up the high voltage to that and the other high voltage to the, the, the uh, shell of our uh, fuser device. And um, just want to test it out to see if we can get what uh, Richard Hall calls uh, star mode. Anyway, we're, I'm just running it on a roughing pump right now. I have some ways to bleed in gas, but I'm not depleting any deuterium yet. Although, we do have some deuterium around here. We might do some interesting experiments with that. Let's see. Anyway, for this video, we'll just uh, try to get the thing up and running and look for the star mode. Okay. So, here we go. We have our... I'm controlling it right now with a variac. I do, pul do pulse modulation, but I feel more comfortable controlling it with the variac. And we'll turn up the voltage a little bit. And I don't know if you can see in there. There is, I'm just running a pulse. It's lower duty cycle. We are able to get up to, I'm sure, fusion energy. And, uh, like I said, I like to run a pulse because uh, it's less likely to burn stuff out. There's our electrode on the inside. And so our electrode is at one potential. And I actually wound it so I could put magnetic coils on it, but I'm not using the coils. And there's our fusion device operating in pulse mode. You can see, let me, let me turn out some lights here. I don't like how it uh, sends a plasma back to the uh, vacuum pump. That's not really super desirable. And I don't like it shocked on that. There is our fusion device. So what we're doing is we have the ceramic brake in the back, and uh, I run a, a long rod through the back, and then there's a gridded electrode in the front. And uh, that creates a ball, kind of like this, where the, the ions can stream in and out. They're accelerated in all directions. And they collide with each other in the very center of the ball. Yeah, looks like we're getting a good star mode in there. You can see the... Okay, let me actually turn out the lights and see if we can get a better view of this. Okay, so let me turn out our last light here. And there we go. See the grid a little bit better now. I think. You can see uh, the uh, star mode, the ions shooting out through the holes. Okay. Definitely looks like we could do some fusion with this device. So, anyway, we'll probably do some more videos on this in the future if people are interested. Maybe try some deuterium.
bacterium. And uh, yeah, see that vacuum hose is lighting up too. I don't like that. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching.